It's been a long time since I've been able to talk about a potential stock pick, and that's because in this market, there are very few bargains. One possibility is Verizon Communications. It's been about a month since the last earnings report from Verizon, and during this time, the stock has lost about 4%, underperforming the S&P 500. So, will the recent negative trend continue? Verizon reported relatively strong third quarter 2021 results with the bottom line exceeding consensus estimates. Verizon expects the momentum to continue throughout the rest of the year. On a gap basis, net income for the September quarter improved over the prior year quarter, and net income for the quarter beat the consensus estimates. However, top line revenue missed the consensus estimates, which may account for the continued downward pressure. Additional pressure comes from the fact that both net cash flow and free cash flow for the first nine months of 2021 are lower than the same period a year ago. However, Verizon revised its earlier guidance for 2021 to reflect improving business conditions. The company expects adjusted earnings to be up from earlier projections along with an increase in total wireless service revenue. Further, the dividend was recently increased. but. Is this enough to turn the trend on Verizon's stock price? Well, let's take a look. Today we're going to take a look at one chart, which is the 20-year monthly chart on Verizon Communications, and the symbol is VZ. For disclosure purposes, I do not hold any shares of VZ at this time. Now going back to the 2008 to 2010 time frame, we can see the bottoming and basing here like that. Subsequent, there was a pretty decent run on the way up through to the current time frame. It was not a straight line. Definitely, we had some uh, roller coaster rides up and through here, and the recent move is on the way down, but uh, hopefully that is nearing the end. Let's go ahead and take a look at the oscillators. First volume, that's not going to tell us too much. And then here into the MAC, we can definitely see that the recent move for the fast line is below that zero line. The slow line is on its way below too, but I don't think we're going to go back to these, say, levels way down. For the most part, there's been a decent rise through the bottoms of the fast lines and the slow lines all the way up through here. It's not perfect, but you kind of get the idea. And again, I think we're perhaps nearing the end of a decline here. It's been about uh, two years since this top here. So sooner rather than later, I think we're going to be bottoming. Moving on into the histogram, you can see here that it's still declining. No real sign yet at least through the histogram, that the uh, decline is slowing down. But I think just pay attention. It shouldn't be too much longer, in my humble opinion. Moving down here into the price rate of change, that shows pretty much the same thing. We're below the zero line, so we're definitely weak, and we have been, say, for about three years since that peak at that point there. And moving on down here into the RSI, we can see we're at a very weak 29.82, but we haven't been this low too many times, certainly going all the way back to 2009. So that's going to tell you if we went to this level here in 2008 through the great financial crisis, this certainly isn't the great financial crisis. So something is wrong, but I don't think that we have much more downside into the stochastics you can see pretty much the same thing there one thing to notice is that when the trend does change it is a very sharp bottom and then it's a turn sharp bottom there as well as here here and this was a little bit more rounded but still relatively sharp in comparison to other stocks Moving on down here into the Williams, pretty much the same thing. You can see that sharp turn as well. It doesn't spend too much time into that oversold territory below that negative 80. Back on up to the price chart, 
And I think uh, generally you can see that even this level here, even though we're at the bottom of a lot of the oscillators, this level here still exceeds these previous lows here, 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 and here. So for the most part, things are continuing on up. Now, although I do think things are continuing on up, you need to study your fundamentals. And for today, that's Chudog Charts. Thank you.